Welcome to the update 13.0 for World of Warships. Watch this video to learn what's sailing your way like early access to American aircraft carriers, new bounty event, new game feature, ship parameters displayed in battle, and more. Thirteen point zero. Wow! I myself first started playing at update 0.7.4.1. And if you're worried that 13 is an unlucky number, then I'll remind you. Luck may affect your main battery dispersion, but it has nothing to do with the contents of an update. World of Warships is constantly evolving, and the people behind it work hard to make the best game we can for you. So we hope you'll love what's coming next in the first update, 2024. Now we don't need the 4th of July to light up the sky. World of Warships is getting a new line of US aircraft carriers. Independence, Yorktown, and Essex will be available in early access, so let's see what they bring to the table. These three ships bring unique playstyles as they only carry a single standard squadron, torpedo bombers. However, they are supported by two tactical squadrons consisting of attack aircraft and dive bombers. What's best, you'll be able to send tactical squadrons at the very start of the battle and jump right into the fray of combat. The tactical squadrons on Yorktown and Essex come with the Smoke Curtain Generator Consumable. And their torpedo bombers can reach optimal aiming more quickly compared to their peers. If you want to know more about these new ships, be sure to keep watching our official World of Warships channel for more information and in-depth videos. By now, you must be wondering, how can I get my hands on these beauties? Well, it's as easy as pie, apple pie. For starters, there is the US Aircraft Carrier's Event Pass. All you need to do is earn base XP in any battle type to complete daily and weekly missions that grant you points to advance through progression lines. You can earn tier six independence and other valuable rewards from the first progression line. And if you want to get a little bit extra, you can unlock the second progression line for doubloons to earn the other main reward, Tier 8 Yorktown. Once you've completed all 20 levels, you can earn additional rewards by completing extra levels. The first progression line will bring Wings of Freedom containers, while the second progression line will give you American tokens. So what can you get for American tokens? Let me tell you about them. American tokens are a special currency dedicated to the early access of American aircraft carriers. You can also obtain these tokens in random bundles in the armory. Use this special currency to buy Wings of Freedom premium containers, credits, permanent camouflages for Yorktown and for Essex, and the crown jewel, Essex herself. Oh boy. And if that wasn't enough, there is something else for players who like to sail under the Star Spangled Banner. Rhode Island. Tier 10 premium battleship will be available in the random bundles during update 13.0. We hope you'll enjoy these proud additions to the American Navy, but they're bringing more than just the Wild Wild West energy. Get ready to rumble in World of Warships as we introduce the fan favorite bounty event with a unique twist on the rules. The bounty event is available in random battles, and like in previous iterations, players will be able to apply for the status of a bounty. Now please note that once you get selected for the bounty role, you'll be required to either play a cruiser, battleship, or destroyer, tiers 6 to 10, to fulfill the missions. At this time, if you feel like you can't really stand the heat, you can cancel your bounty role whenever you want. Additionally, we've improved the marker of allied bounty ships to help you not get confused in the chaos of battle. Both regular players and players with the bounty role can earn achievements and star tokens, which they can later exchange for unique rewards. Speaking of which, there are four new achievements you can earn, so don't forget to participate and discover what they are. Now, I want to tell you more about star tokens. They're a special currency that can be exchanged for rewards in the armory. While this event is active, you can use the star tokens to obtain special space-themed items like permanent bionic camouflages for Des Moines, Buffalo, and Baltimore. Don't forget that the Sestri Ponenti Dockyard is still going to be open and players will be able to complete dockyard missions during the first three weeks of update 13.0 to construct Michelangelo. 
The dockyard itself is going to be available until the release of 13.1, so use this time wisely. Now, exciting new content and events are coming your way, but there's something else I want to talk to you about. Update 13.0 brings a new game feature that is bound to help you with tactics preparation, the ship parameters display in battle. Now, it's quite simple. You can press the tab key before or during the battle to enter your team window and then hover your cursor over your teammates or the enemy's ship. Ta-da! Now you can see their stats and possible consumables. They're not gonna put that in. A few things to have in mind though. The display will present the actual parameters of allied ships, but only after you spot them. On the other hand, the enemy ships will always show you only the best possible parameters. This way, you can take a peek at the enemy's characteristics, but you can't see their actual parameter, as they might be lower in reality. You'll have to learn this through tactics and gameplay, but overall, it should be helpful. Last but not least, the new season of Ranked Battles is soon to start. In Bronze League Battles, Mariners will be competing in teams of 7 versus 7 with Tier 6 ships. Silver League Battles will pit teams of 6 with Tier 8 ships, and Gold League will require captains to navigate Tier 10 ships, also in teams of 6. Players who love quick and intense battles are gonna love brawls in this update. We can't wait to implement the 13.0 update with all its fun content. What are you most excited about? Be sure to tell us in the comments below. If you want to be in the loop for the upcoming events in your favorite naval game, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Good luck at fair seas, captains. Wow. wow. Having a natural wow is hard, you know? Ah! I'm like that dog in hell with all the fire around him. He's just like, this is fine.